welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is Alexis Jada and welcome in today's video I'm going to be playing with some new products that I found at Sally's so this is the Ardell camouflage high definition foundation and I got the Glam Final Loose Setting Powder, Glam Touring Contour Photo Face Concealers. So let's get to applying the makeup. So going in with my Pixie H2O Skin Drink Pure Hydration Gel. Lately I've been liking hydrating stuff on my face instead of pore stuff. Like lately I've taken a, just a pause off just like the blurring primers. And just a lot of just like moisturizing stuff on my face. I don't know why. Just been doing that. All right. So now going into the Ardell Camouflage High Definition. I did pick up the shade Medium 7.0. It is in my shade. I'm just going to rock it. So this is a full coverage matte finish. How to use, apply to face with fingertips or sponge. Oh, what the heck? It's kind of watery. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so I'm like super excited because I want to use <laughs> my Makeup Shack sponge. My Makeup Splash, my Makeup Shack brush. Oh my gosh, that was like so hard. It did not want to come out. So this is the Makeup Shack T1. Look at that. All right, so we're going to go in. Oh, I see. Ooh. Ooh. That looks like a perfect match. Dang. <laughs> I just took like, <laughs> boom, done. I think that is a good match. So I'm just gonna go over with my AOA Shop Miss A sponge, just to make sure everything's like good. It looks like a medium coverage, but I'm pretty sure we can build it up. Go back and I'm like that that thing was really fun to play with. I'm not gonna use a brush this time and I'm just going to just add it and then go in and just bounce it on. Yeah, that's definitely covering. Not mad at it. It covered pretty well. Like look. So here is foundation. No foundation. Foundation no foundation i do look kind of gray i'm not gonna lie i look kind of gray i don't know if the camera's picking it up but from where i'm looking i look kind of grayish like not flattering um hopefully i can fix that with concealer and stuff like that like what if i i, I, I can't just judge it just like right away like i gotta give it some time you know so i am going to just do my whole face before i'm just like you first impression I look like a corpse, sort of, almost. Not all the way dead, but like I'm looking sick, you know? <laughs> this brush is so cute. I like how big it is, especially for the neck. Just like, yeah, get that neck. We gotta come up with a cute like little slang, like with something I like or something I don't like, you know, where it's like yay or nay, but like something cool, you know? So now we're gonna go into the Ar Ardell Photo face concealer full coverage i did pick up two shades because i wasn't sure which one this one is medium 5.5 and this one is 6.65 i can't freaking talk i don't know what the heck oh and it feels like a good like thick coverage like look coverage coverage okay so that one looks pretty pretty good medium 6.5 this one which is medium 5.5 they look kind of like oh but this one has more of like a pink yeah this one has more of like a pink to it i do i'm really impressed with the coverage though 5.5 has kind of like a peach to it 6.6 .6, what i would use i'm going to go in with 6.5 6.5 holy moly jade how does my face feel my face feels kind of like you know it's not set yet, you know? And then I got the Ardell Glam Touring, which is so freaking cute. And then for this one, I got the shade Medium. Oh, and it's the highlight too. Stupid jade. I don't know why you didn't. Okay. So we're going to use this one to contour. So now we're going to blend. 
Oh dang it, dried already. No. <gasps> no! You have that like, can't be left on the face too long. I feel like it wasn't even that long. Yeah, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it. Like, I look muddy. Like, I don't like the way this is looking. Okay, so I haven't showed this in a long minute on my channel. This is the Airspun Loose Setting Face Powder. I got the shade Translucent. The other one I did have, I did give it to my niece. So that's why you haven't seen it in the longest. And I did get a few fan, but I'm commenting, like, how come you don't use it anymore? And it's just because I didn't have it anymore because I gave it to my niece. Because whenever she likes something, I'm just like, just take it. Like, just take it. I got the cap. Better be was this used? Ooh, I hate when people open it up. Mm. Oh dang, I was supposed to use this one. Okay, so I am gonna use that one a later date, but I forgot I got this one. So this is our Dale Glam Final Loose Setting Powder. Let's hope this like helps out what's going on with my face. Ooh, that looks like snow, like legit snow. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure there's no like creasing or anything. I'm gonna go in. And I'm going to set my base. Oh, dang, that's pretty nice. <coughs> I try to smell at the same time of setting. Don't be dumb, don't do that. I like the little blurring effect that's going on right here. Oh, my face looks like super blurred right there. That looks really nice. Like, okay. I do want to try the air sponge just to like carve out right here. So and then I'm just going to go in. I really liked how the powder looked, but now I see it's like grabbing onto some patches right here. Oh, no, 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 Maybe it just needs like an extra loving, a little bit more loving. All right, so I'm just going to finish my contouring, going with the Makeup Shack Contouring Palette. This one right here. I'm going to go in with the bronze and buff. Okay, now going in with the Morphe Blush Trio. This is the Pop of Peach. Going in with Curator right there in the middle. So, now to set my face, I'm using the new Morphe and Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Miss Starberry Scent. When I sprayed this at Ulta, it brought like a memory of being a kid again. I don't know, just like a certain scent to it. I was like, memory lane, being a little kid. Wishing I was older, but now I wish I was younger. Okay, so I love the Morphe setting spray. So, I just, oh. is my mist messed up? No, okay. Yeah, my the nozzle's messed up on this one. Unless it's supposed to come out like that. Okay, now going in with the LA Colors Strobing Powder. This one is in Champagne. But very pigmented. All right, so it's currently 2.22. I am putting my foundation on a little bit later than I normally would, but that's okay. So, my thoughts on the foundation. So I don't know if it's picking up on camera or not, but I do look a tad gray, where I'm just like, Mm. I might have to, I don't know, maybe mix it with another foundation. But to, to be honest, I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping as time goes on, it gets better. Because sometimes there is foundations like that where like the day goes on, it gets nicer, it gets better. But I do have to say, I do like how everything just looks completely flawless. Like, it looks good. Like, it looks really good. And I think a lot of that has to do maybe with the powder as well. So I can't wait to try this powder with, like, other foundations. Especially my, like, favorite foundations to see how well it would mash with it. So I'm going to continue to keep this on my face. I'll keep you guys updated. And, yeah, I'll give you guys my final thoughts with all the products that I used at the end of the video. It is now 11.53. I've had the foundation on. I believe it was, like, two two or three so i personally think there's so many other foundations that are actually really really good the color just wasn't it wasn't doing it for me i feel like maybe if i found my shade maybe i would really like it it just mm -mm, no and it didn't even hold up 
well. So I picked this up at Sally's thinking that it was <clears throat> going to be really good. I was like, oh look, Ardell, like, you know, I like Ardell lashes and maybe it'll be good. But honestly, this, I, uh, uh it says this is a matte finish. Can't really find that much information online. A matte finish, camouflage, you think of camouflage, you think of like, it's gonna be like, whew, nice, no, high definition, no. Like my face looks gross, you guys. Even from the beginning when I was telling you, I hated how the foundation looks. I hate how this foundation looks, like cracking all along here. I broke out a little bit right here. Um, just like super oily and I look gray. Like I look gray. Even though I set the foundation, it's like super tacky, like super tacky. Like, I don't know, my forehead looks gross. Like when I first, applied it and I was using this I feel like it kind of helped it but it's just overall I feel like the foundation is just no so if you see this and you've been like oh should I try it if you guys see it on sale if you guys see it just like oh just don't get it pass on it because I think even if I were to get my shade I don't like the way it held up it does not look good it's like breaking apart right here creasing forehead looks horrible it just no after I applied this and stuff it looked flawless but like just how it looks no just pass on this like a hard pass so the next thing is our Dell glam final loose setting powder this is the mattifying loose setting powder i feel like this gave me this didn't keep me mattified all day of course because you guys can see how my face is right now but i feel like this really gave me that really nice like like my face looked flawless at the beginning just like oh like really really good even though the color match was not that was gray like how my skin looked was really really nice so i think this would be really good when i want to like look like i'm blurred so i'm going to use this with one of my favorite foundations and we're gonna see and we're gonna put it to the test you guys so this i'm still like okay like i'm good with this one next is a concealer so the concealer 5.5 did not fit me it was more like of a warm tone so the one that did fit me was 6.5 i do like the coverage on this i feel like the coverage is extremely good the only thing that i did notice is that i have to work really 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 fast and not let it chill on my face and that's totally fine a lot of other concealers do that this um i would just probably have to do like one at a time i do like the coverage that it gave me and i like how like it didn't brighten look really really nice so i will use this definitely again then we have the glam touring highlight and contour i actually really liked the contouring side i have not tried the other side yet so i will definitely give that another go but I, I i did like it i feel like it was really nice and it was really close to like my skin tone so it didn't look like it, it was too much it just looked like it was like i don't know like good shadowing you know what i mean like good 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 combination of what was going on and the next thing I tried was the morphe and Jeffree star set and refresh my nozzle is broken though I don't know maybe I can exchange it or I don't know maybe I can just I can't even pump it into something else I don't know I'm gonna maybe see like there's like a way to clean it or something because I spray it and you can see like some of the water like stays right there where like it comes out and stuff let me know if there's like a way to fix it and stuff because that happens with my other stuff too like perfumes hairspray it just gets clogged i don't know how to fix it if you guys have like a cool little hack let your girl know please so yeah that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already to keep up to my videos and if you guys haven't checked out my previous video make sure to check it out i'm playing with the new naked honey palette and i created this look right here hope you guys enjoyed once again and i'll see you guys in the next one bye